So the story goes, it is the era of Group B rallying. Group 4 cars of the late 70s are giving way to Group B cars of the early 80s, and people are starting to realise that a mid-engined, multi-cylinder car that doesn't weigh very much is the perfect thing to take advantage of the regulations. Think Lancia 037, Peugeot 205 T16, Ford RS200. Anyway, some bright spark from a company called Michelotto in Italy has the idea of taking a Ferrari 308, which is mid-engine that doesn't weigh very much, and turning it into a rally car. And very successful it was too. They made about four in Italy, and a guy called Tony Warswick designed and rallied one in period in the UK. He still owns it, this is it. At the time, it competed all over the European Rally Championship, but once Group B died, there wasn't a huge amount for the car left to do. It's done the odd invitational event since, and today we're at Chumley Castle, home of the Chumley Power and Speed Festival, which is a bit like the Goodwood Festival of Speed, only further north. It invites people like Tony along to bring their cars, and it is a very lovely event indeed. And this Ferrari 308 is absolutely worth hearing. And so this is it, a Group B Rally Ferrari. The thing about it is, this fellow's just driven it an hour and a half on the road over here. I wouldn't actually need to wear a helmet because uh, I'm not going to go that fast because there are tractors, as you might see from the outside. The fact is, you can't hear a flipping thing unless we put these microphones inside the helmet. It's got a dog box, which means... Apparently it has uh, a very nice torque delivery, unless you stall it straight away like a numpty. Right, let's try that again. Better to give too few revs than too many and to burn the clutch out, I always think. Blimey. So, as with group cars at the time, it makes quite a lot more power than standard. Road car made about 290 brake, I think, 300. This makes 450. Still revs to 7.5, which is the same as a road car. But it runs some engine modifications, not dissimilar modifications to Ford Cosworth DFB, actually. And it's that sort of engine. Flat plane crank V8. This box is fantastic. I was really worried about this gearbox because, because it's a dog box, no synchro, very worried about basically making a pile of small parts in the bottom of the gearbox, as has been done before, but no, it is a joy. feel like an incredibly harsh road, ride on the road is actually fine around somewhere like this. Body control is just mega. Steering is terrifically feels them. Feel the cows wondering what the hell is that? What it is is one of the best cars I have ever driven in my life. If you could have three cars, only three cars, but any three cars in the world, only three, so you need something practical, you need something just slightly for fun, and then your third slot could be something totally outrageous, the Porsche 970 Bugatti Type 35, some 1920s blower Bentley, or some ludicrous muscle car, drag car, whatever. Today, that third slot for me would be occupied by this exact car. It is that good. It is that much fun. It is that intoxicating. Oh my God, can you imagine having the ability to drive on the road with something that sounds and goes like this? What a brilliant, brilliant thing. See it, hear it live at Chumley Power and Speed very soon, where hopefully the weather will be better than usual. I mean, it's like I'm going to go and lie down in a darkened room. <laughs>